Operation Dread Factor has been one of the most impactful seasons in a long time, changing nearly every operator in the game. That's why today, I will give you guys a complete rundown on the top 5 attackers in Operation Dread Factor. Coming in at number 5, it's the operator with the best soft destruction in the game, and that's Buck. While Sledge is still incredibly good at soft destruction, Buck edges him out by being a 2 armor, 2 speed, and having overall better guns. Speaking of guns, let's take a look at his loadout. Buck comes equipped with a C8 AR, which is a high fire rate, high damage assault rifle that is perfect for his kit and playstyle. His other weapon is the CAMRS DMR, which boasts high damage but falls short in fire rate compared to other DMRs. The rest of his loadout is rounded out by the MK1 pistol, which is average at best, and the choice of two secondary gadgets being flashbangs or hard breeze charges. Both are good choices. The thing that sets Buck a class above, though, is his operator gadget, the Skeleton Key. His gadget is an underbarrel shotgun that's main goal is to focus on soft destruction from a range, something his main contemporary Sledge can't do. Overall, Buck is a versatile attacker that boasts the best soft destruction in the game with a solid loadout, and for those reasons, he's currently the fifth best attacker in Rainbow Six Siege. Coming in at the fourth spot is the only hard breacher on the list, and that's Ace. While all the other hard breachers are incredibly good, it's clear that Ace is the best one this season. Looking at his loadout, he comes equipped with the AK-12, which is one of the best assault rifles in the game. His other primary weapon is the M1014 shotgun, arguably the worst shotgun in the game, so Ubisoft had to balance him somehow. Rounding out these weapons, he comes equipped with the P9 pistol, which is one of the better pistols in Siege. Looking at his loadout alone, none of the other hard breachers besides maybe Habana come close to raw firepower. The same thing can also be said with his gadget, the Selma Charge. Ace's gadget, the Selma Charge, opens up a square hole in the wall that is vaultable, or you can stack two on the same wall for you to walk through. The thing that makes him strong, though, is the fact that he hits three of these, making it really hard to bandit trick or Kaye trick, arguably nearly impossible. While it is true Thermite does make a bigger hole and Habana has more versatility in her gadget, Ace has the most complete package for all players in every rank, and that is the reason he's coming in at the fourth spot on this list and is the sole hard breacher to take a spot in the top five. The third best attacker in the game right now is going to be the most recent attacker added in Rainbow Six Siege. That would be Brava. In my operator tier list for Dread Factor, I touted her as easily the most oppressive attacker in Siege right now, and I still think that's largely true. Looking at her loadout, there's nothing stand out. She comes equipped with a Para 308, a high damage but slow fire rate assault rifle, and Buck's CAMRS DMR, which we've already talked about. For secondary weapons, the only thing of note is a Super Shorty, which allows her to create soft destruction. Her secondary gadgets are pretty solid, as she comes equipped with Smokes and a Claymore. Both are pretty good, but I'd rather bring Smokes in most cases. The real star of the show is Brava's gadget, the Kledge Drone. The Kledge Drone fundamentally changes how defenders must interface with the game. Having a Capkin or an Aruni on your team is no longer an advantage, but rather a potential nightmare. This is because Brava's Kledge Drone can hack any and all defender electronics, turning them over to the side of attackers. It's this aspect of her that makes her so oppressive, and the reason she has earned the spot of third best attacker this season. The second best attacker this season is none other than Dokebi. While there are a ton of operators to put here, I think it's only right to have Dokobi as the second because she might just be the most well-rounded operator in Rainbow Six Siege, both on attack and defense. Looking at her loadout, she comes equipped with the MK14 EBR, which is, in my opinion, the best DMR in Rainbow Six Siege and has been for a long time. And also, she comes equipped with the Boss G Meme Cannon, thank you Bikini Body for making that popular, a solid shotgun that is really only useful if you're trying to meme and try to be funny. Her secondary weapons are also pretty versatile. She has the Gon 6, which is incredibly strong and one of the best secondary weapons in the game, and the powerful SMG-11, which is almost needed if you're going to bring her because she only has a DMR and a shotgun, so the SMG is almost a must-pick for her, which is strange because most of the time you'd bring a Gon 6 on any operator that has it available, but for her, the SMG-12 might just be the better secondary weapon. Her secondary gadgets are smokes and flashes, both of which are excellent, especially with her role being a roam clearer and someone focused on clearing roams. But the real star of the show is not her loadout, or her secondary weapons, or her secondary gadgets, it's Dokubi's main gadget, the Logic Bomb. A 2-in-1 gadget that is a pain to play against if you're a defender, and honestly, it's pretty straightforward. The first aspect of her gadget is the Logic Bomb itself, where you press a button and every defender has their phone ring for a period of time. This ring is audible, for the attackers, and they can easily hear it through walls, above and below them, and basically anywhere. It's great positional audio, and it allows the attackers to get a clear advantage and information on where defenders are playing. The less straightforward aspect of her kit is hacking phones. When a defender dies, they drop a phone that you can hack to obtain access to all pieces of observation utility. This is the true strength of her gadget and why she ended up as the second best attacker of the season. So essentially, all you have to do is call get a kill on the guy you've called, so this is great for clearing out roamers, you hack their phone, and then you get all observation tools on defense. 
It's incredibly strong, and like I said, it's the reason why she ended up as the second best attacker this season. Before we get to the best attacker this season, let's go over some honorable mentions. I have two that come to mind, but honestly, any attacker that I had in my S tier for the Operation Dread Factor tier list could have easily made it to the top five and even been an honorable mention. So coming in at number six would be Lion, an operator with one of the highest skill ceilings in Siege, a fantastic loadout, and a gadget that is comparable to Dokubi. He could easily sneak into this list, but I feel as if other attackers on this list are just slightly better than Lion, and while Lion is mostly applicable to every map in the game, he just does lack that oomph that some of the attackers in this list like Dokubi have, where they have that extra layer to them. Coming in at the seventh spot would be Ying, another strong attacker with an easy argument for the top five, but she narrowly misses out due to the presence of Warden, who is one of the top five defenders and a direct counter to all things Ying. If it weren't for Warden, Ying would be in the top five and potentially even the top spot. That's how good Ying is. Her candelas are incredibly good. Her L85 saw is one of the best attacking weapons in the game, but because she gets absolutely hard countered by Warden, who is nearly present in every single match on defense, it makes her less good. She's still incredibly strong, but she does kind of get cut in half because of the presence of Warden. For that reason, she's coming at number seven, but could have easily been top five if you just ban a Warden or you play her aggressively and you know how to properly play her. Overall, most attackers in Rainbow Six Siege are incredibly good, and any of the attackers I had in S tier, like I said previously, could have made the top five. That being said, only one attacker can be the best one in Rainbow Six Siege, and that title goes to the astronaut, Iana. Iana is easily the best attacker in Siege right now, being the most versatile and adaptable. Her gadget, the Gemini Replicator, has an immense amount of depth to it, whether it be getting info, figuring out defenders, or baiting for your team. Its strength is absolutely undeniable. When looking at her loadout, the same is also true. The G36C is a strong assault rifle, but is overshadowed by the even stronger ARX. And either of those guns are paired with the MK1 pistol, or more commonly paired with the GON6. And to top it off, she comes with frag grenades, the most influential piece of secondary utility in the game, hands down. For all these reasons, Iana alone stands atop of all 34 attackers in Rainbow Six Siege and is clearly, in my opinion, and many other opinions, the best attacker in Rainbow Six Siege for not only this season, but honestly, the past year. If you made it this far of the video, I appreciate you for watching. Let me know in the comments below who you think is the best attacker in Rainbow Six Siege or your top five. And if you like this video, check this video out on screen here. It's been Vexing, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.